now the second most important adjustment entry let's start past adjustment entry for prepaid or unexpired ex expenses and reflect in financial statement so what is prepaid expense let's learn the abbreviation first simply putting it is expense which is paid in advance expense which is paid in expense advance so if you pay something in advance what will happen your cash will decrease by that amount and what will happen to your net profit your net profit will also shown a decrease by that amount why because the expense see my financial year is from 1st april to 31st march i need to pay some some expense for 12 months in an accounting or financial year for for next 1st april also that pertains to the next accounting year i am paying it in this year only so what will happen this will not show a true position of your business because instead of 12 months you are paying here for the 13 months 13 months so you need to subtract one month expense from here and bring it up to only 12 months then only it will show a true and fair picture of your business and then what will happen to the prepaid expense it will become an assert for you so you have to record it in the asserts column because in next month of april you need not pay it so let's start the entry first the entry will be here uh, the question is rent paid during the year is equal to 130000 the said rent includes the rent paid for the month of april of the next financial year 10000 so actually what is paid is 130000 and 10000 is for the next month so i need to remove 10000 for from here 120000 is what is related to the current financial year so only this should this should reflect in my accounts and not 130000 so the entry will be here prepaid rent account debit by 10000 prepaid rent account debit to rent 10000 now why prepaid rent is debited prepaid rent is my assets and assets are always debited so i have debited prepaid rent why do i credit the rent rent has been overcast by 10000 rupees and rent paid has a debit balance because it is expense so i need to undercast it by 10000 rupees here so that the net effect comes to 120000 and not 130000 so in rent although the nature of an expense it was overcast by 10000 it had a debit balance so i i need to credit it now so that it comes back to 120000 so the presentation in the profit and loss account will be to for expense to rent paid or to rent 130000 what will happen if this 130000 remains as it is and i don't pass any adjustment entry then my net profit will show a decreased balance because instead of 120 i am putting 130 here so what do i need to do now less less subtract prepaid rent
rent of 10,000 and bring out the figure which relates to this accounting year 1,20,000. Now this is showing a true position of my net profit that 1,20,000 relates to this year and I am showing also 1,20,000. And what about the balance sheet? In balance sheet in the current asserts, you have prepaid rent ten thousand in the next month i need not pay ten thousand because i have already paid it now so it is an assert for me the current asset prepaid rent here so recapping whenever there is something prepaid from the total paid just subtract the prepaid amount and put it in the outer column this is presentation of your profit and loss account and in the assert side you need to write it in the current assets column prepaid expenses whatever the amount a small formula to remember the above two entries outstanding and prepaid is see this is the expense how do you present in it in p and l account this is your expense add outstanding always add outstanding less prepaid add outstanding less prepaid we know the concept now but we also need to remember some smart formulas because in exams you can't take very long to think on the concepts so these small things help you do it faster during your exams expenses in p and l account what are the expenses in if in additional information something outstanding is uh, written then just put it add outstanding add outstanding here and less prepared for the profit and loss presentation